out. What do you see? Light. Darkness. A balance. and welcome to this Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer breakdown. So the trailer has dropped. If you're new to the channel, please do click that subscribe. Also click that like if you like what I'm talking about and I want to hear your comments below of what you think on the trailer. So the trailer didn't actually reveal all that lot, but it did actually reveal some very interesting things tonally. So tone and where the Jedi's, where the Sith, where the First Order are going has actually been revealed when you think about it. So we can see that Rey is becoming incredibly powerful as, well, the sh film will be starting about half hour after the first film ended. So we're going to see this pretty much very, very instantaneous payoff of Luke Skywalker being shown in the movie. So I'm very excited to see Luke Skywalker back in the movie. We can hear his very ominous tones as he is talking over this trailer. And I wasn't too sure if it was actually him, but I've not heard him speak in a Star Wars movie for like 30 years. So it's motherfucking crazy. So I'm super hyped for that, of course. So it does seem like Rey and Luke are going to be reenacting and mirroring the Dagobah scenes from the original movies and it looks like they are going to be training and all that kind of business quite a lot on this Jedi temple this island so I loved the shots of this and Rian Johnson is a fantastic director and I have very high hopes after seeing this footage for myself that the visual medium just looks stunning and it was so cool seeing Rey with her powers lift all these stones up you can see she's very force powerful there as well so it's looking very good for her now interesting what the poster reveals is quite a lot again so we can see luke skywalker and kylo ren on the left and the right of each other but cutting through the middle in clothes which are very reminiscent of han solo in my opinion we see ray's lightsaber cut through the middle of them and to me, it does look like she is going to be the balance in the Force. Now, interestingly, Luke Skywalker actually mentions that it's time for the last Jedi or the Jedi to end. So it's not looking good for the Jedi. The last savior at Hope, Luke Skywalker, is pretty much wanting to end the Jedi, which, to be honest, they are a flawed bunch, aren't they, the Jedis? They are incredibly flawed. And, well, it hasn't really helped the galaxy, has it, with them still being around? Kind of, it actually has. But for this evil to return, this First Order, and the Sith have returned, well, it looks like they're going to need this balance. And I really do think that Rey is going to be the balance that has been promised for so, so long. And she will be a big help for the rest of the group and the rest of the galaxy because she is going to take on Kylo and she won't be turned because 
Luke is going to be teaching her things which he has learned on this and that the maybe the force is meant to be neutral. There's not meant to be any huge paradigm shifts. There's not to be any huge major ups and downs. There's meant to be a huge, huge balance, which is what I think is happening here, of course. So we see these huge speedsters and I am continuing on my theory that this film is mirroring the Empire Strikes Back because we can see walkers in the background or in the foreground, sorry, and we see all of these speeding towards them, so to speak, with this is very reminiscent of the trailer for The Force Awakens as we see the X-Wings go across the lake to Mazzy's temple. And fucking cool. Just so, so cool. Again, and it is really, really mirroring the Empire Strikes Back there. And we see Finn as well. Uh, we left him. He wasn't in the best state of mind at all, or, or fortitude, really, was he? And I think this is him being taken away as we see the whole of the Resistance base being attacked. But I'm not too sure if it is exactly the Resistance base, but we're going to see a huge, huge battle there nonetheless, of course. Now, what's interesting, we are going to be getting flashbacks. We're going to see the sacking of the Jedi Temple there, which isn't good for anyone. But I'm really excited to see and learn just how this whole thing came to pass, how the Knights of Ren were formed. And I think throughout the movie, we may actually get these flashbacks and see how it all began. Interestingly, in the shot after, we see what looks like Kylo and his knights with some First Order troops there as well. So not good at all, but it's cool seeing these flashbacks. I'm really excited to see just where they are going to go with it because I am super, super fucking pumped for how that will go forward. And we are going to learn the origins, I think. And hopefully with Kylo, we're actually going to learn how he became or was seduced by the dark side of our Snoky fella there. And I'm excited to see where he has actually gone. And we're going to see a huge space battle at the end, of course. And it, I think that this is going to be a downer for the Resistance as well. It's not going to look good for them because this is essentially the Empire Strikes Back of this saga, I think, is mirroring it quite a lot. And I don't think a few people will be happy with that because there was quite a lot of criticisms of the original Force Awakens who were saying it was too much like the original, but those people are stupid. So moving on from all this, I'm excited to see just where this is going to go. And well, that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.